I got a lot of um, interest in these quad boxes and how I made them and what I do with them. So uh, I figured I would show you guys how to make them. Uh, pretty simple. What you need is a metal electrical box, a couple of plugs, and a male and a female power con connector, which just use crimp on quick disconnects, such as those. Um, these come in the two standard sizes. Um, they come in, um, I want to say three eighths, oh, quarter inch. So you need the quarter inch, not the, um, not the other, whatever the other standard size is, because if you get the bigger ones, uh, they don't fit in between the terminal spacers there. So, and then I've got a set of crimpers to, uh, to crimp the connections, a pair of dikes just to make cutting wire easier. A pair of wire strippers, they don't have to be fancy ones, you could just have regular wire strippers. A drill, um, that's just a screwdriver. A set of drill bits, um, and this is kind of key, this is a 24 millimeter hole saw or 15 16 that's the same size metric and standard, 15 16 and 24 mil are the same. So, how do I make this? Uh, it's pretty simple, you go source the parts, oh these things by the way, um, I usually buy most of my electronic gear, whether it be um, XLR connectors or any sort of power con connectors from a place called MarkerTech.com, M-A-R-K-E-R-T-E-K.com. You get them at B&H, you get them at Sweetwater, any of the stores. So you'll notice this, these boxes, they're standard boxes. You have to make sure you get the right one too, the, the kind, because there's a whole bunch of these in the store, and you have to make sure you get the kind that's got screw holes in the corners, not screw holes here and here. Um, because with this, you take the plugs and you screw them to the face plate like so. Uh, but the problem with making these is these knockout holes are not the right size. They're not 24 millimeter. So what I did was I took just a small drill bit and I centered it you know, in the center of these center knockouts and drilled a small pilot hole and that made it easier for me to take my, drig my bigger hole saw and cut the perfect size hole right in the middle. Um, before I had that hole saw, I used to just knock that out, because uh, I've made many of these. I used to just knock that out and take a Dremel with a grinder and just sort of round out the hole just a little bit bigger until that slid in nice and easy. Um, the problem with doing that is these are steel, so it takes a while if you're doing it the grinding method. And then once you've got that in there the way you want it, you drill two other small holes. Um, you could use the panel screws and nuts, those are expensive if you have one of those cheapo um, pop rivet guns from Job Lot um, and a couple of rivets that'll do the trick just well too. Um, so then I used a length of um, flexible cable, so basically I cut a length off of some bulk 12 gauge cable um, and you sort of have to figure out how you're going to get everything to fit inside. So if you could see that you'll see I used crimp on connectors and I just went from one side and then I looped it up to the side of let's see if I can see this here better from the side of to the side of one of the plugs then out of the other side I don't know if you can catch that I stripped a wire, stripped a section of insulation off of the middle of a wire, looped it all the way around that screw, and then that one went back out to the other side, as well as to the other side of the, well, to the other side of the plug. So oh, maybe that's a better example. So we got... So, in case you don't know, black is hot, white is neutral, so it's not intuitive. It's the opposite of what you would think. And uh, for me, it's real easy to remember which side of a plug gets the black, the hot versus the neutral wire because my high school colors were black and gold, so I know that black goes with gold. But you always use the black um, terminals on any AC outlet with um, the gold, and you use the white, which is neutral, with the silver ones. So that's just a little bit of AC wiring 101. 
So we're going from one side of the plug to the other. And then of course these are parallel wires on the plug. And then I'm going from that plug to one side of the power con and to the other side. That way I've got a straight through from one power con to the other without any resistance. I'm just going up and around one of those screws and then the other wire is just a jumper to the other side and I do the same thing with the black. I've got one wire stripped in the middle and that wire that's stripped in the middle is going to the power con on one side and the power con on the other and then uh, of course you want to ground this whole thing too so combine all of your grounds um, that's real important um, so that all of your grounds match. I, I actually, oh, I just noticed I used uh, little eye connectors um, to attach those to the ground just to make it easier. So in case some of you are noticing saying they don't require any solder, I did actually on these, probably not necessary, but I'm totally, I overkill everything. I put just a little bit of flux on each one of those terminals and, and heated it up and dropped a bead of solder because these things get kicked around the ground all the time and um, I didn't want them to uh, ever come undone. Um, but again, probably not necessary um, because those connectors fit on there real tight. So basically, if you saw my earlier videos, that's going to your current from the wall. And this is just a daisy chain. So you could have one of these boxes, a 10-foot cable, a 50-foot cable, whatever, and then have another one of those boxes following that, um, and that's it. So, I mean, it's probably um, these connectors, I know they sell online for like, I don't know, three bucks a piece, two fifty, three bucks a piece. So you're into it for five dollars for the two connectors. You're into it for a few bucks a piece. I mean, these are 20 amp um, plugs and you could tell because they have that little cross hatch thing um, so the polarity can't get reversed so these plugs are probably a little more expensive they're maybe five bucks a piece um, so we're in it for five ten fifteen and maybe the box in the lid is another five bucks total so we're into it for twenty dollars maybe a little more but not much and somebody commented saying you know there's cheaper ways to do this I totally disagree um, go look up Leviton